Hello everybody, welcome back to Channels of Machinery, exploring the world's largest giant cow ranch, a bird's eye view of cattle, bison, and snow-capped pastures. In the vast landscape of agriculture, some ranches stand out not only for their size, but also for the fascinating ways they integrate cutting-edge technology with traditional practices. The world's largest giant cow ranch is no exception, spanning an impressive stretch of land and dedicated to raising both cattle and the majestic wood bison, this ranch combines innovation with centuries-old ranching practices to create a one-of-a-kind operation. From the use of drones to snowy pastures, let's dive into a behind-the-scenes look at life on this extraordinary ranch. With the vastness of the ranch and the herds of animals to monitor, capturing the full scale of operations requires a unique perspective. Here, a DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus drone becomes the rancher's high-tech eye in the sky. This reliable drone model, known for its stable flight and high-resolution camera, offers an exceptional way to observe the ranch and provides breathtaking views that reveal both the scope of the land and the activities within it. Hovering above herds of giant cows grazing or wood bison moving through snowy fields, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus offers stunning panoramic shots of the animals as they roam, feeding or migrating through various pastures. As the drone soars above, it captures more than just the ranch's aesthetic beauty. Aerial monitoring offers insight into animal health, pasture conditions, and even helps locate stray cattle. Particularly in the winter, with the land blanketed in snow, the contrast of dark animals against the white landscape makes tracking and monitoring herds both easier and visually stunning. This combination of tradition and technology allows the ranch to achieve its goals more efficiently, providing unique perspectives on animal care and land management. In the realm of feeding large herds, the ranch depends on a tool called the Pats Mixer, a robust piece of equipment designed to prepare and distribute the animal's feed. The Pats Mixer grinds and mixes various ingredients into a uniform, nutritionally balanced meal. While it might seem like a standard piece of farm machinery, the Pats Mixer is central to ensuring the health and productivity of the animals. These machines simplify the preparation of feed, making it easier for ranchers to ensure each animal receives the nutrients they need, especially in harsher winter months when pasture availability is limited. Using the drone to capture feeding sessions showcases just how crucial these mixers are. The drone's perspective shows animals gathering eagerly, their coats thick and sturdy against the cold as they anticipate their meal. It's a view few get to witness, but one that brings to life the scale of operations, from the movement of the machinery to the animals' behaviors as they feed. A key part of maintaining the wood bison population at the ranch is a structured processing routine that includes tagging and aging each animal. Ten-year-old wood bison, in particular, are tagged and carefully assessed to determine age and health. This process, though routine, is vital for the longevity of the herd. By tagging and aging bison, the ranch can track each animal's lineage, monitor health changes over time, and make informed breeding or conservation decisions to maintain the genetic diversity and strength of the population. The tagging process also allows ranchers to identify older bison who might need extra care or monitoring. Aging animals can have more specific dietary needs, requiring slight modifications in the feed mix, 
particularly during winter months when nutrition becomes even more critical. The drone provides a unique perspective on this process, capturing images and video footage that assist ranchers in tracking tagged animals over time, even in snowy or low visibility conditions. Part of the ranch's operations also involves transporting cattle to the slaughterhouse, a process that's both delicate and critical for managing the overall herd size. With animal welfare being paramount, the ranch takes careful steps to ensure transportation is as stress-free as possible. Cattle are loaded gently onto specialized trailers, with consideration given to temperature, travel time, and minimizing any discomfort during the journey. A modern cow slaughterhouse employs advanced technology to ensure humane treatment, safety, efficiency, and environmental responsibility. These facilities prioritize animal welfare, using high-tech solutions to reduce stress and pain for livestock. For instance, automated handling systems guide cattle gently through the process, minimizing human interaction and preventing unnecessary stress. Some systems even monitor animal behavior to adjust lighting and sounds, creating a calmer environment for the animals. To ensure high standards of hygiene and precision, robotic arms and automated machines are used for various processing tasks. 
robots handle meat cutting, packaging, and sorting with remarkable speed and accuracy, reducing contamination risks and improving consistency and product quality. Moreover, automated cleaning systems keep facilities sanitized with minimal human involvement, ensuring the environment is maintained at rigorous cleanliness standards. Modern slaughterhouses also incorporate advanced waste management and water recycling systems. Waste byproducts are often transformed into useful materials like biofuel or fertilizer, reducing the facility's ecological footprint. Water treatment plants within the facility recycle water, minimizing the environmental impact and conserving precious resources. Real-time data tracking systems have transformed slaughterhouses, allowing managers to monitor and optimize every stage of the process. Sensors provide information on air quality, temperature, and animal health, facilitating immediate adjustments when needed. These facilities use blockchain and tracking software for supply chain transparency, ensuring meat can be traced back to the source, which enhances food safety and consumer trust. Through automation, animal welfare, and sustainability initiatives, modern cow slaughterhouses represent a significant evolution from traditional practices, aligning with ethical standards and technological advancements. This evolution aims to meet the growing demand for meat while addressing critical issues around animal treatment, worker safety, and environmental impact. Cowhide processing is an intricate and multi-stage journey that transforms raw hides into leather, a durable material valued for its beauty, texture, and longevity. This process takes place in a tannery, where each department plays a specific role in achieving a quality final product. From initial fleshing to the detailed work of finishing, every step is vital in refining the cowhide and ensuring it's suitable for a wide range of applications, from upholstery to fashion accessories. Here's an in-depth look at the main stages involved in cowhide processing. The first step in processing a raw hide is fleshing, a mechanical process that removes unwanted tissue, fat, and flesh from the inner side of the hide. This stage is crucial, as any remnants of tissue or fat can interfere with the tanning process and affect the quality of the final leather. During fleshing, the hide is passed through a fleshing machine equipped with rotating blades that carefully strip off unwanted material, leaving only the skin layer. Fleshing also serves to even out the thickness of the hide, which enhances uniformity in later stages of production. Proper fleshing not only ensures that the hide is primed for tanning, but also minimizes waste by creating a smoother, cleaner material to work with. After fleshing, the hides are moved to the trimming section, where irregular edges and uneven parts are trimmed away to achieve a more uniform shape and size. This stage requires skilled workers to carefully remove any jagged areas or imperfections that might compromise the consistency of the leather. Trimming also helps to minimize waste, as unnecessary parts of the hide are removed before tanning. Once trimmed, hides are easier to handle, stack, and process in the later stages, ensuring that each piece maintains consistent quality and size. Trimming is vital for maximizing both yield and quality from each hide.
Splitting is a technical and precision-based step that involves dividing the hide into multiple layers, each with distinct properties and potential uses. Typically, cowhide is split into two primary sections, the grain layer, top, and the flesh layer, bottom. The grain layer, which contains the outer surface of the hide, is often considered more valuable due to its natural texture and durability, and it's commonly used for high-quality leather products. The flesh layer, or split layer, is generally thinner and softer, ideal for uses that don't require the same level of durability. By splitting the hide, the tannery can increase output by producing multiple products from a single hide, tailoring each layer for different applications in the leather industry. Tanning is the heart of the leather making process, turning the organic hide into a stable, non-decaying material that is resistant to water and bacteria. The tanning process can involve several techniques, but chrome tanning is one of the most common methods due to its efficiency and the soft, supple texture it imparts to the leather. In chrome tanning, hides are soaked in a solution containing chromium salts, which bind to the collagen fibers in the hide and prevent them from decomposing. Vegetable tanning, another method, uses plant-based tannins that give the leather a firmer feel and a unique earthy aroma. Both methods may vary in terms of processing time and environmental impact, but they serve the same purpose, to create a durable, flexible, and long-lasting leather material. Once tanned, the hides are wet and need to be carefully dried to achieve the desired texture, thickness, and moisture balance. The drying operations begin with techniques like air drying, vacuum drying, or toggling, depending on the type and intended use of the leather. Air drying involves hanging the leather on frames in a controlled environment, allowing the moisture to evaporate gradually, which helps to maintain the leather's softness. For thicker hides or faster production, a vacuum dryer may be used which applies pressure to speed up moisture removal without causing the leather to shrink or lose shape. Each drying technique has its benefits and challenges, and tanneries often choose methods that best meet the specifications of their final products. Vacuum drying is one of the most advanced methods for drying leather, providing a faster, more controlled approach to moisture removal. In this process, the leather is placed in a vacuum chamber, where reduced air pressure lowers the boiling point of water, enabling it to evaporate at a lower temperature. This method is advantageous for thick or heavy hides that require consistent drying without warping or hardening. Vacuum drying not only saves time, but also prevents potential shrinkage or distortion of the leather. By carefully managing the moisture content and avoiding exposure to high temperatures, vacuum drying helps to preserve the leather's texture and maintain maintain uniformity across large batches. The final stage in cowhide processing takes place in the finishing department, where the leather undergoes treatments to enhance its appearance, texture, and durability. Finishing may involve dyeing, oiling, buffing, embossing, and coating the leather to meet specific aesthetic and functional requirements. Dyeing adds color, while oiling and conditioning soften the leather, enhancing its natural suppleness. Buffing smooths out imperfections, creating an even surface that can be further polished or embossed with patterns. Finally, a protective coating may be applied to improve resistance to wear, water, and UV light, extending the leather's lifespan and making it suitable for various applications. The finishing department is where the leather gains its unique identity and final characteristics, a step that reflects the artistry and expertise of the tannery's craftsmen.